Hello and welcome. My name is Jennifer Ray and in today's video I'm going to discuss child's pose or balasana. Child's pose can be used in many different styles of yoga. It can be used in active yoga classes, in yin yoga, and it can also be used within the restorative yoga system. So child's pose is such a beautiful posture. It's very calming. It helps to open the lower back and the sacrum area. It helps to stretch the spine as well as compress the digestive system. There are many different ways to practice child's pose. So at its most simple level, you can practice child's pose in a more active practice by holding the pose for lesser amounts of time. And in the yin yoga style, we would hold the posture, of course, for longer periods of time in order to really trigger the connective tissue and create more flexibility. And then in the restorative system, we would use the maximum amount of props so that there's very little sensation and you really can rest in a sense of support. So I'll show a few different modifications as we go. The most important thing to remember, first of all, is that we never want to take a posture or a shape that elicits any sense of pain or really deep uh, discomfort. So if that's the case, then you want to start using props. It doesn't matter if you're doing the active practice or the yin practice and especially the restorative practice. So to set it up at the most basic level, you simply bring the knees about hip distance apart and the feet are together. And then from here, you fold forward, either resting your head on the floor or on a prop. Now there are variations with the legs, so if you wanted to bring the knees much further apart, like a really wide child's pose, this would trigger more the inner leg and inner groin. Another option is to bring the knees all the way together. So when you bring the knees all the way together, there's much more pressure on the lower abdomen. So for example, if, they're, if you're pregnant or if you have a student that's pregnant, they would want to bring the knees wide apart or wider apart so that you can, they can allow the belly to drop and there's more space there for the lower abdomen. Okay, so then as you set yourself up, you can create different prop setups depending on limitations or restrictions in the body. So if there are some limitations in the ankles, some yogis find this is really challenging for the tops of the feet or the ankles, then you can roll the back of the mat. You could roll the back of the mat or you even use, like I am here, a folded or rolled blanket like so. And you create the little roll and then you place the roll right underneath the tops of the feet this way. So sometimes that creates more support and then the yogi would fold forward from here. Okay, another option here is to use the, the support of the bolster or folded blankets. Now notice I have the bolster right out in front of me and it's not tucked right up underneath the belly. I want it just a little bit further forward to allow the lower abdomen the space to really drop so all of the organs can drop and this is also true again during pregnancy. So from here then I fold forward and I can rest my head just on one cheek to support the whole body here. Now once I have set myself up I focus on dropping the outer hips and softening the inner groin and feeling this spreading across the lower back and the sacrum. So once you have set yourself up in the child's pose, you can take a number of breaths there as you settle, feel the strict stretching and the lengthening of the spine, and rest the forehead either on the prop or on the floor. Okay, so that's one setup there. Now, of course, in the restorative yoga setup, you'll want more props. So in the yin yoga style, we're looking for some pressure on the tissues, um, something that tells us that we're creating more flexibility and basically more resilience in the tissues through a kind of tugging, but never anything that feels like pain. In the restorative setup, we want to completely support the body so there's very little sensation. So chances are in the restorative setup, you'll want to create even more height. So you could use a bolster and a folded blanket or you could use two bolsters. Really setting it up so that you have the maximum amount of support and then once again, you would come forward like so. Now for some yogis, this is really difficult for the knees or the hips. And in that case, you can support behind you instead. 
So first option would be to take a blanket like so, and you kind of wedge it right up behind the kneecap right up behind the kneecap and then you sit back. So sometimes that creates just enough gapping behind the knee that it takes the pressure off any kind of injury or limitation in the flexion in the knee. And then, and then you can come forward from here. Another option would be to use the bolster. So you can place the bolster right behind you like so. And then in that case, I would want to support, of course, in front of me as well with more height depending on how open the student is. Okay, so that gives you a few options. Now, as always, if coming forward or putting pressure on the kneecaps is just not available, you can always take this pose on your back as well. And in that case, you come down like so, and you just simply draw the knees into the chest. You see how that's also child's pose, putting pressure on the lower belly, working with the flexion in the knees. You can bring the knees a little bit wider apart to take more of like a wide knee child's pose shape. You could also place the feet on the wall here and then it's more of like a squat position, but really you get the same benefit. So this posture of child's pose is really helpful, like I mentioned, at opening the lower back and the sacrum. It, it's helpful to open the inner legs if the knees are wide, inner groin, and the outer hips. So primarily it's working on the liver channels and the kidney channel and the spleen channel that run along the inner leg. Perhaps if you're feeling some targeting along the outer hips, that's the gallbladder channel. And then if there's some opening in the lower back, especially as you fold forward, that would be the urinary bladder meridian in the Chinese system. So I hope that you have enjoyed this posture and make sure to get over to jenniferray.com to learn more about these postures and others and make sure to sign up for my mailing list and that way I can stay in touch and offer you more tips and suggestions for your yoga practice. Thanks so much for watching. Mm -hmm.